Today on the channel, we're going to go over part two of my lesson on the Crossroads duel at the very end of the movie, where Jack Butler gets defeated by Lightning Boy. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is part two of the Crossroads Duel lesson. Uh, we're going to go over the end part of the Crossroads Duel where Jack Butler gets defeated by Lightning Boy or Steve Vai gets defeated by Ralph Macchio. This is also known as Eugene's Trick, Trick Bag, I believe is the official title of it. So um, we'll dig in. If you've missed part one of my lesson, I'll put a link to the video in the description of this video. I just posted it recently. So this is part two, the very end. I'll catch you up to speed. This is the section where we left off last time. They did the uh, this part right here. Okay, so I've got that um, the tablature on this part on my Instagram page, which is also in the description of this video. Plus, it's on the, the first lesson, uh, the video for the first lesson, okay? So after this part right there, after it goes, we're going to do this little descending piece. It goes, it sounds like this, and I'll, I'll demonstrate this part, then I'll put the tablature and walk you through it step by step. Okay, so it's something like that. This is really hard to play. I learned this thing many, many years ago, and to this day, I still struggle with it, but it's my warm-up. <laughs> this is kind of one of my warm-up things that I, I battle with throughout life. It's my white whale, so to speak. So let's talk about this, this part. The, the difficult part about this, really, is this arpeggio that we do. It's the same arpeggio, but it's the, it's the skipping on, on these two strings, the high B and the E string, and getting it on the right fret. That's the hard part, right? That's why I've got my readers on so I can see my dots and my frets because I have to have precise accuracy. <laughs> but this first part, he does a descending thing that goes. So before we get fired, in, uh, fired up into this, that thing, we're going to talk about. So we do this little slide thing. So what we're, we're doing is a E major, like a major third triad up here. So we're on the B string on the 15th fret or 17th fret and we're on the high E string on the 16th. And it's going to go down this thing like... Okay, so the other interval that we're going to be doing is this interval. So we're going to be skipping, we're going to do this interval twice we're going to go down from the on the b string we're going to be on the 17th fret we're going to go down to the 15th all right so we're going to go that's 14 and 12 on the b and the e go down two frets same position now we're going to be on the 10th and the 9th on the b and the e like that first major third interval interval this interval again we're going to be on the the 9th and the 7th and then the seventh and the fifth, and we're gonna be one octave down, which is the same thing as. So we ride this thing down, all the way down like that, but to make it sound the way that it does on the recording. So I'm taking that position, and I'm up picking, I'm on the high E string, I'm gonna do a down pick on the B string and then an up pick on the high E. And I'm going to slide. In slow motion. Hopefully that makes sense. So what I'm doing there is like that slide and 
it's all this motion with your picking hand and then a slide and it sounds fast like this okay now this next part is is kind of easy it's it sounds like this <clears throat> part of this trick is the picking hand we're gonna pull off we're gonna take this triad all right we're taking an e major triad do me so but we're gonna go we're gonna take it from the top the fifth so me do and we're gonna pull off we're gonna pick down and then pull off I'm doing two down picks that's a down pick so a pull off the next is an up pick and a down pick it starts with two down picks the next part of it is an up pick off pull off then a down pick I suppose you could start it that way too it's just easy for me to and in between this triad we're gonna hit this we're gonna hit this high E string with an up pick <coughs> excuse me I forgot that earlier so that that's an up pick on that high E so it's a pull off from the seventh to the fourth then the E on the B string on the fifth fret and then an up pick on the open E And just repeat that phrase it's four notes one two three four and then you got to get that that sequence down now on this triad there's always this up pick on this high E string between all these triads So it's all pull off and pick. A pick on the high E, then down pick. So we're gonna take this E triad. We're gonna go to a B, to a D, to an A. Think about where your middle finger is, okay? The middle finger is on the E. All right, that's our E major. The next time you're gonna be on the, the, B, the 12th fret, which is our B. Same chord shape. Now we're gonna go up to the 15th fret, which is a D. And then the 10th fret, which is an A. All right. Four times. Do that sequence four times. Had a little bit of a glitch there. <laughs> Okay, so after we do that four times, we're gonna do go E. We're gonna go up to the seventeenth fret with this middle this middle finger, which is up to a high E, right? And then go back down here, octave. So octaves. Then do a D, then a D. And do that four times. So we're going E to a low E, then a D. To a low D. Same thing, the pull offs. So that kind of up to speed goes. Okay, so from the beginning of this thing, we're gonna go.
Now this is brutal. It's going to go up to a high G, which we're on the 22nd fret at the highest note. So if you don't have a 22nd fret on your neck, you're going to have to press really hard down on the wood and pretend like you have a 22nd fret. It's possible. So we're going to be up here. That's a G. We're on the um, 20th fret. Same pattern. We're going to pull off. It's the same shape. Now we're way up here. And then do an octave down on this G. That G note is on the 8th fret, okay? Same geometrical shape. Now in F, we're going to go down 2 frets. Then an F octave. Do that four times, and then we're going to do this huge diminished run. All right. So what that is is we're going to start up on the the twenty second fret. Now what you gotta what you gotta do is know the shape first. So the diminished run. So if you just are two frets apart from each other like this, then then go down go down half a step on the B string. That's how it starts, and then on the G string, we're gonna go down two steps or two frets like that. Okay, but what we're doing is an arpeggio. We're doing like a pattern. So you have to understand that that diminished run first. So we go down four notes, go to the next note of that diminished scale, and then go to the next note and go down four, and so forth. And he ends it on this E string right here on the 16th fret. And then he goes A to an E. And we go. Okay, so what that is is A, E, and then we're going to go up to this E, and then go octave E, octave E. So once again, now I'm going to, I'm going to kind of make this ending part up because the end of this, um, at the end of this solo, <laughs> Steve does this crazy A minor um, harmonic minor scale and he, he does this humongous chord at the end which we can't do with just one guitar so I'm going to show you how to end this with just an A harmonic minor scale so and that'll end it for you so after we go alright so let's look at this A harmonic minor scale that can get you out of this phrase or this whole lesson. So what I'm doing there is I'm sliding up from the fifth or the fourth to the fifth with one finger. I'm taking the ring finger, so we're we're four five, and then we're doing seven eight, and then we're gonna go, which is uh, five seven eight on the A string. And then we're going to go next string D, which is 6, 7, 9, 10. Then we're going to go G string, which is going to be 7, 9, 10. Then the B string, we're going to do four notes, which is going to be 9, 10, 12, 13. That's it. So 9, 10, 12, 13. And then we're going to go on the high E string. 10, 12, 13, 16, 17 on that A. A minor, okay?
All right, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. That's how um, Jack Butler got defeated by Lightning Boy or Ralph Macchio in the end of Crossroads. Hope this lesson was informative. It brings you a lot of joy and a lot of frustration, good frustration, and uh, some, some interesting uh, chord shapes and techniques around your fingers and your picking technique. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing, comment below, and as always, have a great day. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.